Hello everyone, I am Manu Santhanam, a professor in the Department of Civil Engineering at IIT Madras. And together with my colleague, Professor Ravindra Gettu, I am very happy to bring to you this course called Advanced Topics in Science and Technology of Concrete for the semester starting January 2024. This is going to be a four-week course. If, uh, if you're aware, we have been conducting several different courses from our group in NPTEL. And the course on advanced topics in science and technology of concrete has previously been conducted with various different kinds of uh, advanced research topics in concrete technology. We have looked at uh, elements of concrete microstructure. We've talked a lot about durability. And we've also looked at special concretes like fiber reinforced concrete and ultra high strength or ultra high performance concrete. This time, the focus in this course is going to be a little bit different. We're going to look specifically at the topic of use of recycled aggregate in concrete. This topic came about as a content for a video course from a recently completed project called Towards Durability Specifications with Recycled Concrete Aggregate. This project was uh, undertaken under the scheme SPARC or SPARC, Scheme for Promotion of Academic and Research Collaboration between IIT Madras, University of Cape Town in South Africa, and University of the Witwatersrand in South Africa. The project was undertaken to answer several key questions regarding the use of recycled concrete aggregate. Primarily, we were looking at how the current performance approaches for concrete durability design should be changed when recycled concrete aggregates were used instead of natural aggregate. And the other aspect we also wanted to look at was, is there a different set of limiting values that need to be applied for durability parameters when recycled concrete aggregates are used instead of normal aggregate. But before this, we also wanted to look at what are the characteristics of concrete prepared with recycled concrete aggregate. And still further, we wanted to investigate how recycled concrete aggregate should be processed in order to get a maximization of its potential to be used in new concrete construction. With this in mind, several different activities were taken up in this project. And the idea was to look at several different tasks leading up to the useful utilization of recycled concrete aggregate. One task that we wanted to look at was decide on the strategies for removing the mortar that comes along with the concrete when we crush the concrete, because we want to, as far as possible, remove this mortar to obtain good quality recycled aggregate. The other aspect was to generate a database on strength and durability properties of concrete with coarse aggregates and review the existing provisions with recycled aggregate in South Africa and India just to have a comparative understanding of how recycled aggregates are actually treated in the codes of these two countries. And the next aspect was to prepare various grades of concrete with several different combinations of aggregate, including as collected recycled aggregate, processed recycled aggregate, and local natural aggregate and compare their strength and durability characteristics. Uh, of course, this experimental work was performed as part of several ongoing projects in these institutions. And finally, we also looked at performance-based life cycle assessment. So uh, all of these modules incorporated a lot of literature survey and uh, uh, several uh, students were also working in the lab performing different kinds of experiments to try and come up with this database and help us with our understanding of how recycled concrete can be used as aggregate in new construction. So many deliverables were associated with this project. One was the uh, creation of a monograph, and this monograph was successfully released in late 2022. Um, for those of you who are taking this course, we'll also have a copy of the monograph available for you at a, a portal where you can download it freely. Uh, we also conducted several workshops as part of this course. Uh, one, the first workshop was conducted in January 2020, uh, and this was followed in August 2020 with a, with a workshop that was done in the online mode because this was during the height of COVID. And then we had the closing workshop in February 2023 where we actually did the official or formal launch of the monograph. And of course, the video course, which is also a major deliverable as part of this project, is now being offered as part of this course called Advanced Topics in Science and Technology of Concrete. We hope that you'll really like the course contents and, uh, and be able to understand how best to utilize recycled aggregates in new construction. To explain about this course and the contents that you'll be actually seeing further, I now invite my colleague, Professor Ravindra Gettu. Thank you, Manu. 
for giving the motivation and the context of this course. You've heard from Professor Manu Santanam about the series of courses that we've been offering as advances in the science and technology of concrete. And this time we bring to you a short course specifically on the use of recycled concrete as aggregate. And I'll tell you about the different aspects that are treated, different features and different topics that we deal with. You will also see how we go from the source of the material to actual aspects related to supply chain and the use of the material in the site, following the codes, following the practices. We also emphasize what changes have to be made in our uh, approach to using recycled concrete as aggregate. So this would be something that will benefit students, researchers, people at the site, and even policymakers, because a lot of changes have to be made in how we manage our uh, recycled material, how do we change the uh, codes, practices to make this efficiently used as aggregate in new concrete. So we'll start off with where the material comes from. It is obvious that it comes from demolition, but it has to be processed properly, it has to be collected properly, and it has to be treated well so that it can be easily used as new aggregate uh, in concrete. So we'll start off with aggregate and their influence in concrete properties, so you know the context. This will be done by Dr. Eunice Balam from the University of Witwatersrand. Then we look at sources and types of recycled aggregate, because this can come again from different places, different types of demolition. We know that it's all mixed, but we are focusing mainly on concrete here. So Dr. Manu Santanam will deal with this. Dr. Surendra Singh will talk about the availability how much of it is actually there? How do we collect and how can we process the recycled aggregate for uh, use in new concrete? So these aspects are very important and it will all be tied up together by Professor Mark Alexander when he talks about properties of recycled concrete aggregates, the performance that we get. Always the doubt is, are we going to get as good of a concrete as possible when we are just re using old aggregates, recycled aggregates? Are we going to get good aggregate. So this is followed up by more lectures on performance. We'll have Professor Manu coming again to talk about performance of concrete in the fresh state because this matters for the contractor who has to place the concrete, ensure that the concrete is properly mixed and that the structure will come out as expected in the shortest duration of time of construction. I will talk to you about hardened properties because this is what the designer is uh, worried about, the uh, long-term performance, what the owner will be expecting someone to explain that nothing will go wrong in a structure that is constructed with recycled aggregates. We get into more details. Professor Alexander Brandt from, the, from Virginia Tech will talk about the effect of moisture conditions on the microstructure. How do we design concrete with recycled concrete aggregates. Can we use the usual design procedures? What is that we have to be careful about? Uh, Dr. Priyadarshini Perumal from the University of Oulu will talk to you about recycled concrete fines because when we crush concrete, we want to extract aggregates, but we end up with a lot of fine material. This may often be just be dumped. We don't want that. We want to see how to use this back in construction as much as possible towards the circular economy, or we find other uses for recycling this concrete finds. And this uh, would be mineral finds, which can have a lot of value when we consider it as a resource. We look further into the performance with more of design, current standards. Where do they fit in? Do standards allow? Can standards allow? Should we modify standards? What are the limitations on the use of recycled concrete aggregate? This will be uh, dealt with by Professor Mark Alexander from the University of Cape Town. I will uh, talk about the environmental impact. Obviously, there is a lot of benefit in recycling, uh, recycling concrete because you are avoiding all the aggregates that are coming from pristine sources 
like uh, mountains which are being uh, chopped, eaten up to make our aggregates. We'll also look at the carbon footprint. How can we do a life cycle assessment of concrete looking at recycled aggregates? This will also give an introduction to this methodology of life cycle assessment, which can be used for many uh, aspects related to concrete construction. Dr. Ashwin Mahalingam from IIT Madras will talk about the supply chain because this could be the most challenging. Uh, we know that recycled aggregate can be used to make good concrete. We know that there is a lot of demolition. But why is it not happening that we are using more and more of recycled aggregates? The issue mostly is the supply chain. So Dr. Pro Dr. Ashwin will talk about this to see how we can clean up the supply chain. How can we make the supply chain efficient so that we can get the recycled aggregate to the site? This will be further uh, enhanced in the talk of uh, Dr. Ram from the University of Sheffield, who will talk about market issues. What is actually happening? Why is it difficult for people to use recycled aggregate? What is there in the market? Is it a shortage of material or is it shortage of right material? These things could be addressed by Dr. Ram. So finally, we have a panel discussion on navigating challenges and opportunities in CND waste recycling. We will look at what are the barriers obstacles to use, large scale use of CND waste in recycling. We know that there is a lot of CND waste. We know that there is a shortage of material for construction, but why is it not happening that more and more waste is being used in construction? So we bring together experts, some of those who have taught in the course, along with other experts such as Professor Satyanarayana, Director of IIT Tirupati, um, Mr. Vernon Collis from South Africa, who is an expert in the field. Mr. Brian Perry, Managing Director of Cement and Concrete in South Africa, together with Mr. Abhijit Gaude from Godrej Construction, who have a plant, who've been very efficiently using recycled waste, and one of our postdoctoral researchers who sort of coordinated this whole uh, project, as well as all the recordings of the lectures and put together um, the lectures for you, uh, Dr. Selvam, who uh, just graduated with a PhD from IIT Madras. So we'll talk among all of us in this panel about different aspects, different issues, how to make it happen, how to make more of the recycling waste reach the construction site and end up in new concrete without losing performance and without losing any benefits that concrete gives us, and on the other hand, gaining a lot. Gaining a lot in terms of uh, saving of resources and helping the environment. So to insist again, this is a course that is going to be of use to uh, students, researchers, postdoctoral researchers who are looking for topics to expand on, who want to uh, work on new areas, and people at the construction site, because you are going to be faced with the fact that we have to recycle. Maybe the specifications will say that you have to recycle uh, material into new construction. How do you do it? What are the challenges? What could go wrong and what we should be careful about? It would be interested, interesting to policymakers who will have to make changes in contracts and specifications, probably look at the supply chain when we have to use uh, recycled waste in concrete. So thank you very much and we look forward to having you all in with us in the course on the recycled uh, aggregate use in concrete. Thank you.